A viewer recently asked me this. Have you ever thought of allowing Chronic to interview you? I would love to hear you debunk his RPBS. He and Ruby say that ugly guys can get way above girls, way above their looks level. You know, stuff like just go to the gym, etc. They hate the BP, but I am not sure why. Your thoughts. By the way, I am a 5'6 white fellow. Not bad looking at all, but I agree with your message. I had also other people telling me, oh you gotta watch this, on that is ripping on wheat waffles. It is time I talked about them, both of them. I will talk about Undead Chronic first, uh, what he has to say about wheat and the BP, and if I have enough time, wheat waffles in the second part. If not, I will have to leave my opinions on him uh, for a different video. Thankfully for you, I already did the painful work for you. I won't make you suffer through 3 hours of Undead Chronic stream. I will cut to the best parts and you will get a major insight into the questions this viewer has brought up. Why didn't I go on his channel for a debate? Why they hate on the BP so much? When we are the ones talking against the PUAs the most? And all the other questions I have been getting from the community since forever. Who would have possibly guessed that all it took for a dude that looks like this to betray his community and go back on everything was one mediocre white girl. <laughs> oh, man. You know, he ain't wrong. And not even only weed bubbles, but also MTAV community in general. You have think before you sleep example right there. Out of these MTAV viewers, their foundations are not strong. The red pill is just a guideline of how to get Puniti. Did you hear that guys? Especially those of you who support Undead Chronic. According to him, his words, not mine, Red Pill is a guideline of how to get Puniti. Wait, I thought it was about being a man. I wonder what Hammerant uh, thinks about this. You hear that guys? It is a guideline of how to get woman. And not only that, if you can't attract woman, you can't possibly have a correct opinion on what attracts woman. If you are not actively getting woman, you can't observe, you can't use your brain and have a correct opinion on what attracts woman. Because being able to get with woman is what validates a man's opinion, according to Undead Chronic. He might not be saying this explicitly, but... This is what he's engraving in his viewer's mind. If they know, like, look, Wheat Waffles knows, or at least he says he knows, chicks like dudes with arms thicker than the leg of a golden retriever. Real small arms there. Yeah, he didn't put any of the time trying to trying to get big arms. He attacks on low SMV man. The dude tries to shame Wheat Waffles looks and SMV while his best buddy on YouTube is literally hammerhand. Bro, how are you gonna insult Weed's looks and SMB when your YouTube duo is Hammerhand? Shaming language. Hammerhand and him complain about shaming language all the time, but then they turn around and do it to other men. That just shows you what kind of man Chronic really is. At heart, he is not any different than guest sliders and PUAs. He can talk against them all he wants. Those of you in my comment section who like him, who like Chronic, those of you who support him, understand this. He's not any different, man. And it's all cope. All the dudes saying the gym doesn't work, all the dudes that say there's no gym for your face, never go to the fucking gym. They never go to the gym. They never, go. it's just excuses. It's excuses. The skinny or fat cell telling you there's no gym for the face, when I hear that, it's like a fat woman telling me she has thyroid problems and she can't go to the gym. No difference. Excuses. There ain't no excuses. No excuses. He's 5'10". Honestly, he's lazy. That's what it is. The, major the majority of black pill dudes, they're just fucking lazy. You hear that, guys? You are gonna hit the gym, bro. You are gonna rot in the gym to get women, bro. He's so off the mark, like, he's calling Weed Waffles lazy when he never even claimed to be an Ink 12. Bro, I'm not even gonna say anything, I'm just gonna show his own subscribers, own viewers' responses to him. No gym for your face isn't advocating that men don't train, it is simply pointing out that doing so has little to no impact on your ability to attract women. Exactly. Uh, your face and height make up about 90% of your SMB muscles, dong size <laughs> makes up 9% and money makes up 1%. I am 30 and have been working out since I was 14 yet I am still a virgin. A mutual friend of mine has never worked out in his life and has drastically less muscle mass than me but he has a well structured face when he enters a room you can see all the girls drooling over him when i enter they look at me in disgust 
due to my incorrect face. This is spot on. And you are gonna ask, what was Undead Chronic's response to this? Guys, of course, it is truly a surgical takedown. We have come to expect from him. Gonna need to see those curl numbers. <laughs> yeah. You know what, man? Undead is actually funny. But he's funny when he isn't trying to be. Like, I was a gym cell myself. There was a point after a couple of years, I was considering hopping on steroids because it was so hard to keep my cuts and get bigger also. Like, a lot of men go through the same process because you have people like Chronic gaslighting us and then reality is gonna slap you in the face. Oh, you are gonna put in the work in the gym, bro. It is that easy. <laughs> He's so delusional, man. Like his entire concept of roasting is ripping on people's looks, which proves the black bill once again, by the way. And poor jokes. He made the same offer to me before. Like, why would I be interested in a debate? I know nothing productive is gonna come out of it. He's just gonna call me an inkwell the entire time. Will bring up my accent. Gonna say shit like, oh, prove me that you can bench 300 right now gonna say what every other normie says or oh, you can't have an opinion because you can't attract one like that and the sad thing is he probably thinks that he does such a great job at roasting he didn't go to the gym to fix it he didn't do sports to fix it you know he did to fix it he became a black pill cope cell went online complained about women because he couldn't get them why could he not get them because he didn't do any work the irony of Undead saying this, bro, you, Hammerhand, Taylor the Fiend, those people are watching you because your entire thing is roasting and talking about women and feminists. Like Undead Kornick's act is wearing thin. His claims can't be reconciled with the reality his own viewers face on a daily basis. Why do those Menosphere and top guys hate the BP so much? Brother, the very same reason why dating coaches hate the BP. We are cutting into their influence. Two wings of the RP and they both hate us for the exact same reason. We are cutting into their influence, audience and money. If you have this many people, this many coppers and guest sliders unite in attacking you, it means we are doing something right. They are losing out of people to the BP. The turnover rate is not the other way around. I used to watch Hammerhand, I used to watch Undead Chronic, now you are my favorite YouTuber. Like, no surprise, brother. You follow his advice right away in a gym. And when they get slapped in the face by the reality of life, they go to the wheat waffles. <laughs> oh, and he's British. <laughs> oh, you're, you're wild. Uh, honestly, wheat waffles, you're wild, man. The stuff you see on your YouTube channel, the misogynistic hate speech, I'm surprised you're not streaming from jail. You might see yourself in the slammer and you'll be like a raiding prisoner's faces for half a cigarette. <laughs> Except instead of calling them all ugly, you're going to call them all Chad. Because if you call them ugly, well, you're going to have a bad time in the shower that night, right? Yo, this was hilarious. I am not going to lie. This is the only time I thought he was actually funny throughout the entire three hour long stream. Imagine Wheat Waffles going to the jail because of his YouTube channel and <laughs> raiding inmates' faces for cigarettes. <laughs> But instead of ugly, he's gonna call them chat to not get boinked by Jamel and Abdul in the shower. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I do actually believe in one aspect of the blue pill, and that aspect is that a woman's body count does not matter. This is actually a problem that I see in the entirety of the manosphere, not just. Uh, red pill, but also black pill and mtau as well, that they all have this idea about um, a woman's purity is so important. And any woman with a high body count who's, you know, been flown around the world, who's, you know, done all of this crazy stuff, going out to parties, getting hammered, a woman who's done all of that stuff is impure, therefore you shouldn't date her. It's the main point that I'm trying to drill home in this video. When you look at the truth about what actually happens in the real world, does a woman's purity matter? You will find that 90% of guys, they just don't care. They they are blue-pilled on this issue. And the very fact that 90% of guys are blue-pilled on this issue, by default, that automatically makes it the truth. It's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. So the majority opinion makes it the truth, is that you're saying? If you think truth depends on people's opinions, you are a fool. You are a fool.
Undead is right here. Oh, 90% think purity doesn't matter. This makes it a truth. Bro, 90% of men think looks don't matter either. Then it makes it a truth also, following his logic. Oh, 90% of men would still date her. Therefore, it doesn't matter, bro. Like, these days, even overweight women have high SMV. Even they can date 90% of men. Just because normies don't have an issue with it doesn't mean anything. Look man, the truth is I don't even care. I have never been one of those insufferable cringe haters. If anything, his success on YouTube pays a dividend yield for me. If you watch his videos, it won't be long before you find out about me. I ain't about cringe background for drama. I don't like to talk about people for one thing. I talk about opinions, ideas. You know, he's entitled to say whatever he wants, but it is important that you guys understand whatever he's saying, he's saying it to make money. He won't refrain from twisting the truth if it means more money. Take what he has to say with a grain of salt. For example, he used to make several videos talking about purity. Oh, female promiscuity is leading to society's downfall. Now it is all about, oh, it doesn't matter at all. Oh, it is better to be a male in the dating market. Why? Because you can look max. <laughs> you guys remember that laughable video, right? It is one of the biggest coping videos I have ever seen in my life. Now, you're gonna ask, why did he make that video? Does he believe so? Does he really believe that? It is because if you don't believe that nonsense, you are less likely to buy his looks maxing advice. Look man, I am not even against him offering face ratings. I am not criticizing him because he makes out of money. But it feels like these days his videos just revolve around selling more stuff. His thing ain't I must speak the truth and it is great if I can make some cash while doing it anymore. Now it is I am a maximize the money I make and anything I say we will based on that and that alone. He did 180 on some of the most crucial points and core ideas just so he can cozy up to the literal PUAs calling literal PUAs great YouTubers. He claims that it is better to be man in the dating market. And the reasons he lists are just laughable. Every single one of them. Just laughable mental gymnastics. Just so he can sell more looks max advice. Oh, traveling is seen as a bad thing for a woman, but not for a man. Therefore, it is better to date as a man. Be waffle, bro. Do you live in Baghdad? Brother, did you move to Afghanistan without letting us know? Where do you live? that women who have traveled are seen as tainted. You said it yourself, man. Average normie on the street doesn't even care if his girl has been around the block. If they don't care about that, you think they will care because she has traveled to Europe once. Guys, you gotta understand, of course he knows that is not true, but says it regardless. Or it is better to be a man in the dating market because you can look max. Just shut up and buy my look maxing advice. <laughs> Bro, females don't even need to worry about those retarded plastic surgeries. They also have those looks maxing options as much as we do. It is just they don't even need to worry about those. They can just live their lives. And even if they are losers, they will still have a reasonable social life and a dating life. For a lot of men, looks maxing is like lipstick on a pig. You will go from four to what? five, six, whatever. And you are still gonna be invisible. Meanwhile, even a four out of 10 woman can have a reasonable social life, a reasonable dating life. And I am not only talking about hookups, but they can get reasonable looking men to get into relationships with them as well. Telling men that they have it better in dating than women just because men can look max is like saying it is better to have a crappy Ford Fiesta with a flat tire than a brand new Bugatti because that Fiesta has more looks maxing options. Imagine pulling up next to some crappy Ford Fiesta with your new brand new Bugatti and telling the guy inside, hey man, it is better. It is better for you that you don't have my car because you can do more improvement with your car than I can do with mine and you drive off. <laughs> Of course, guys, you gotta understand why Wheat is saying these things. At the end of the day, he knows none of it is true. He knows that it contradicts with everything he said up to that point, but says it regardless. It is the same reason why he considers all these guys great YouTubers. According to him, all these guys are great YouTubers because if you're a guy who is watching those YouTubers, he shows as great. Literal PUAs, game proponents, people who charge struggling men thousands of dollars to tell them rot away in a gym. Men who have a history of lying and gaslighting. If you think those guys are great YouTubers, 
you are more likely to pay with waffles. Like the fact that he puts himself in this thumbnail together with these guys just tells you what you need to know. I don't care how much effort they put in their videos, bro. They are putting the effort into gaslighting, man. So it is actually worse. I mean, I don't know what his plan is. If he realizes he isn't getting the same views and money, uh, he will probably go back and you will see him making videos again about how much worse men have it, how it is over again and that kind of stuff. But the point I am trying to make is this, like understand this, whatever Veed says, he says it to maximize his profit. Guys, I am on the video on this note. Please don't follow anybody just because they are claiming BP or whatever. This is why I don't even like to use these self-labels and buzzwords anymore. Never pay attention to self-labels. Look at ideas and try to see the motives behind those ideas. Look at how they start and how they end up.